What's up guys? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Thanks for pressing play. Today, as you can see, we are here at Corvettes of Carlisle, right beside the Chevrolet booth. And of course, we got some E-rays in here. We're gonna go take a look, high quality look, maybe the first YouTuber look. No, just kidding. But uh, we're gonna check out the cacti color, the Riptide Blue, and of course, the new Seawolf Gray. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we are here with Shane. The man, the myth, the legend himself. Hey guys, how are you? Well, let's 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 talk about the the cacti. I know this is your color. What do you think of it? It's one of those colors when we first came out with the media or on video early. It didn't do it justice. You had to see it in person to be able to look at it, maybe even appreciate it, what it looks like. And it's it's much better in person. Believe it or not, guys, I'm, I was not a fan of uh, of cacti, and seeing it in person, I actually kind I I can kind of appreciate it. It's actually not bad. It grows on you. Yeah, man. it does. Now this one obviously also has the Artemis interior. The cars are not unlocked, so I'm not able to give you a real good glance at that, but you can kind of see it from here. It's a real, real pale green. It's almost gray. It almost looks like a light gray. Like clay. Yeah, like, like clay. clay. Yeah, that was a good way to put it. It's almost like a clay color. Now what's really interesting to me, um, if you guys haven't noticed, is the new 2024s have the additional safety features up here in the glass and you can see it. So normally you just have a PDR there, but even the PDR is bigger than the, the sensor up at the top there for probably pedestrian braking, if I had to guess. But it's, it's definitely different looking. But yeah, we can also move on to the Seawolf Gray, which looks really good, really good in person. What do you think? Would you take Cacti or Seawolf Gray? Right now, you gotta make sea a choice. Seawolf Gray, nice. absolutely. My man. So guys, Seawolf Gray might be my color. I really like it, the way this looks. It's very reminiscent of like Nardo Gray. Yes, that it is. really good gray color that you'd find on, you know, Porsche. Yeah. Um, maybe even some of the Dodge product too. It's just, it's a really nice gray. It really is. So guys, if you check this out, these are the new E-Ray wheels. These are painted carbon flash, but they are 345 series, even though they are this Pilot Sport all season tires. So really a cool combination. You can really drive this thing anywhere you want. Uh, snow, rain, whatever, it's gonna have you covered because of that whole all-wheel drive battery aspect. Uh, in the back, of course, we got the same four exhaust tips coming out the sides as the Stingray because the engine is ultimately the same. The only difference really is that hybrid motor in the front and of course your wide body. Now, moving on from there, this is a hard top convertible by the way, but moving on from there, we have the cutaway E-Ray car. So these are always kind of cool because it's literally sliced right down the middle and you can kind of see all the, the inner workings. And because of that, you can actually come into the center console. We got Jason filming the video. We're just gonna go ahead and let Justin talk and then we're gonna post it. <laughs> yeah, just follow it. <laughs> exactly. But there's the battery right there. So really interesting because it's like multiple batteries kind of connected together. I really like that. Of course, you're gonna be sitting right beside that the entire time. That that could possibly be scary, but fingers crossed that it's no issue. It's really cool to see the cutaway here because you can really see where the radiator fans are mounted. It'd be really easy to install some scrape armor radiator grill guards right there. You don't have to you don't have to pull anything off, just slap it right on there. But other than that, we also have the Callaway car here, which is slightly updated from the one you saw on my video two years ago. This one has fender flares, wider wheels, uh, really, really wide wheels. Check these out, look how deep those are. And then of course the big one, it's got a supercharger. Now I was told this car has a little, I think he said 640 horsepower, something around there. And it is tuned. So the GM uh, people have officially unlocked it for the Callaway guys. This is not tuned with HP tuners or anything like that. This is officially, the actual tune from GM. So pretty cool there. Now moving on, we also have the Riptide Blue. I mean, this color, this color looks really, really, really good in person. Look at that. I really, really like this. Again, the carbon flash painted wheels, same uh, Michelin uh, all season tires. Got the uh, body colored spoiler with the carbon flash winglets. I really like that. And then the one that I really, really love, believe it or not, is this one. So. This is the Silver Flare E-Ray. Again, carbon flash painted wheels, but it has the electric blue, I believe they're calling it, of uh, stripes up the, the middle. And this is again, a convertible. Now this blue looks very, very similar to the Riptide blue. And I like that. The, the contrast here is incredible. And this, you said this is the color you ordered? So yes, when I built it, I built it. The only difference that I had was that I went carbon flash on the roof and the nacelles. Yeah. So, uh, but I did do, of course, the midnight and tension blue uh, interior. That's very cool too. That it plays is. really well with the blue stripes. It's a throwback to my Grand Sport. Yeah. 
because I had the tension, tension blue. blue. Yeah. And then of course the whole E-Ray logo is kind of blue. So yeah. th this is actually kind of an odd uh, contrast almost because- Well, but think about it because anytime you see one of these uh, electric hybrids or whatever, it's always blue. Yeah. So. Yeah, the blue always kind of says hybrid, but the only thing I'm seeing all these E-Rays have all, they all have the uh, gray calipers. None of them chose a, a, a magnificent color. Like it would be really cool to have a riptide blue yeah. to go with these stripes. Yeah. You have these stripes in uh, what they're, I think they're called electric blue. Yeah. Make that caliper, that caliper color the same down here. I think that'd be pretty cool looking. Okay. I mean, they might actually, maybe we'll offer it as an option someday, but I don't know if they have it now or not. I can't, I don't oh, think so. so. But yeah, guys, these are all looking really good. These are at the, the GM booth here at Corvettes at Carlisle. I'm going to try to get this video up tonight. So as long as I do, um, I guess I can tell you where I'm located here too, which is right beside AWE. You can see the booth right there and my Z06 right there. Now, what's even cooler is if I spin around here, yeah, that is Harlan's car. He literally drove in while we were on a live video and he drove this all the way from Michigan down here to Corvettes at Carlisle. So you can see it's a little bit dirty but he's been basically driving this car. So this is his daily. It's got uh, some yellow stitching on the interior, the carbon flash wheels, and again, your all weather tires, but he does have a carbon fiber lip. Now he's been driving this thing and you can tell he's been driving it without scrape armor. Look at that, <laughs> boy, those are beat up. I wonder how many miles he has on this cause they, they are beat up, but yeah, still looking very good. Even in the Accelerate Yellow, I do kind of like the way the E-Ray keeps this part painted the body color but yeah guys my opinion is still pretty much unchanged i really like the idea of the e-ray but at the same time i think i would choose a z06 if i was asked so let me know what are your thoughts down in the comment section below would you choose the e-ray or the z06 or maybe that maybe that new callaway which one would you choose let me know in the comment section down below and if you guys do happen to make it out here two corvettes at carlisle for 2023 be sure to stop by the booth, which again is located right beside AWE. You can see the Z06 right there. So yeah, stop by and say hi. That Toyota will not be there, I promise. All right, and uh, I guess, why not? Why not a white one too, right? Arctic white, E-Ray, again, beat up, beat up radiators, but you got that additional cooling one in there, which is interesting. Still don't know exactly what that's for, but Edge yellow, red calipers, yeah. yellow seatbelts, yellow stitching. Edge yellow calipers, all the, the all the yellow stitching. No comp seats though. Alcantara on the inside, carbon flash painted wheels. Of course, they all have the uh, carbon ceramic rotors. It's in gray. Interesting. So there we go. I knew that they were offering something like this where they were blacking out the E-Ray kit. Very nice. Good catch. All right. So that's what I would do because I wouldn't like the lighter blue on the darker blue exterior. That's kind of weird. <laughs> but they're getting set up here now for the show, guys. We're probably gonna have a white one and a yellow one, it looks I don't think like. I like it on the yellow either. No, it doesn't look no right. Other blue. There's no blue, right. Unless you did the blue calipers. That would be the only way. But that's not a thing. <laughs> that's right. So that's gonna do it, guys. If you liked what you saw, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking the content. And as usual, we were gonna have all kinds of coverage here at Corvettes at Carlisle. Stop by the booth, say hi. Stop over on GM and check out those E-rays. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next upload.